Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Chen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And today I'll be doing a makeup, beginner's makeup tutorial. Every single day I'm gone. watch hopefully this video will teach you guys something I'm not very good at it because I literally learned how to do my makeup off YouTube so don't judge me okay so first thing first I am going to do my eyebrows I don't normally do a lot to my eyebrows because I have a lot of eyebrows so I don't need to really shade in or fill in or anything like that I just um literally just outline them and clean them up right a lot of people they do the whole shading and the whole filling and all that because they don't have a lot of eyebrows but I was blessed with a lot they need to get done right now but anyways I'm gonna be working with it the only thing is with my eyebrows my left eyebrow for some reason doesn't grow in as much as the right one so I will have to shade in a little bit off the left one so let's go I just use any black anchor pencil pencil I use I don't use anything like I don't use the cream fillers because as I said I have a lot of eyebrows so I don't really need much just on the parts that are a little thin I fill in just a little bit just to kind of even it out with this one I'll fill in just a little bit there so now I'm going to use my LA girl pro concealer I don't know if you guys can see that I'm gonna use that to clean up my eyebrows what I normally do I normally use just a regular flat brush it's like and with that said what I normally do I normally just this is just regular water I usually spray my brush a little bit just to get it a little moist just so that the product could stick to the brush more easy not everybody does that but that's I find that works for me so what I do I normally use both the colors like I blend them just so it's not too loud Depending on the look that you're going for. I'm just going for like a simple look right now. All right. Now I'm going to start by outlining my eyebrows. And again, as I said, this is just concealer. Right. everybody does their stuff different this is how I do mine this is what works for me and I just follow the shape of my brows like I don't do anything fancy I just follow the shape of my brows for the top, I usually use, you could use, I usually go with a darker shade for the top. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just use regular foundation. That way it's easier to blend out when you're blending. But today, I'm going to use a darker shade.
and I don't go all the way out to the end of where my eyebrow starts just because again I have really thick eyebrows so I don't go all the way out And then I just cover my lids. I'm going to prime my lids at the same time. And then I just go in with a regular foundation brush to smooth that out. Just to blend that out. You gotta blend it out because if you don't, once you're ready to apply your eyeshadow, it's going to be tacky. And we don't want that, we don't want creases and all that, so. I just blend it out, all right? Just blend out the top a little bit too, just to get it a little softer. See? I don't know if you guys can see that. If you're going to turn on the TV, you got to turn it down really soft, okay? Huh? I can watch it. Yeah, but just turn it down because I don't want to get copyright. I always have a problem doing this eyebrow. I don't know why. It just doesn't never... Like, it takes me a longer time to do it. I guess because I have the ring in it and because I'm right-handed. Like, it takes the... Uh, it doesn't work that well with me. Honestly, makeup, you gotta have some steady hands. Especially when you're doing your eyebrows. Because, I mean, one wrong move and you'll have to end up doing the whole thing all over again. See, this one is, I don't know, this eyebrow just grows really funny. But, so when I'm doing this one, because it's so funny, this one grows in less than this one. I usually have to fill in while I go, just to get the right shape.
So, I'm not sure what color I'm going to do yet, but I'll figure something out. I think I'm going to go with I'm gonna go with this palette. It's like a really soft pink palette. I think I'm gonna go with that one. And I'm gonna start with my transition color. And usually, usually always try to make your transition color a matte color. Because in every palette you have the matte and you have the shimmery colors. Never do your transition color with a shimmery color. It just doesn't come out right. So always go with a lighter color and always go with a matte color. So I'm going to go with this pink. Always just tap and tap off the extra color, the extra product on your brush right start from the outer corner of the eye just pat it on pat on the outer corner of the eye see just pat on the color don't don't wipe just pat right and then you go in a circular motion and you pull the product from the side into your crease just to blend it out right so most of the color is going to be on the outer corner and you just pull and blend just circular motion You don't want it too heavy because again it's a transition color so you don't want it too heavy if you decide to put more product on just tap it onto the corner and blend out Your transition color should always be soft, right? See, you tap in there and you blend out. Circular motion, you blend out like your eyelids. Okay, now you're gonna go and you're gonna do your main color. For your main color, you use a small fluffy brush. That way it doesn't drag the color into your transition color too much. Just use a small fluffy, well, that's what I do. Now, your main color is going to be a shade darker than your transition color. So I'm going to go with this purple right here. Now it has a little bit of shimmer in it. Mm. <coughs> Sorry. 
start again at the corner and this is going to go right into your eye crease just like right where your eyeball starts stop where that crease between your eye and your eyeball your eyelid and your eyeball that's where you want this color to go all right You see that? Then you're gonna go back in with your first brush that you had and you're gonna blend your edges out. Any sharp edges that you have, you're gonna blend that out. Blending is the key to good makeup, guys. You got to learn. Once you get your blending down, you're good to go. Just blend those two colors in so you won't see any sharp lines. So now I'm going to start with my other eye. Makeup takes time. Like, never you rush. Like, just take your time and you'll get, like, what you're doing. Like, just... Don't be in a rush. It takes time to learn. I remember when I was learning, I watched so much YouTube. Like, I was on YouTube every day learning. I learned a lot of stuff from Watch Chrissy Work. And I uh, also learned a lot of stuff from Lyric. I don't know if you could see the difference with the pink and the purple. All right, you just blend it out. Blend out all your sharp edges. Now, to blend out my transition color I'm just going to go in I don't know if you can see that with a nude color just to blend out any harsh lines from the transition color okay that's just to blend the two colors together I mean everybody has their own method this is the way I do mine it just works best for me so I mean if you watch somebody else and they do it differently and you feel that method will work better for you then go right ahead whatever works for you that's what you work with now I'm going to do my foundation and this is the one that I'm using cover girl and it's a matte I have oily skin so I usually go with matte foundations and when it comes to foundation you don't need a lot just a little bit goes a long way
and I'm going to go in with a brush and I'm going to just tap it into my skin. Don't wipe, just tap. Just tap it in, blend it out properly. Start with a little bit at first. If you end up needing more, you could always go in with more, but don't overdo. Don't forget your earlobes. Do, listen, I hate to see people do their makeup and then when they turn to the side, it's like they're wearing a mask because they forget their earlobes, they forget their neck. And a trick to... A lot of people ask, how do they know what color to get, like their true match? When you're matching your makeup, always... Don't ever match your face because your face is usually darker than your, your rest of your body. Always match your neck. Whatever foundation matches your neck, that's usually your color. This is when you use your makeup, your foundation, to blend out any harsh line. If you don't want that halo look, you just use the makeup, your foundation, to blend out. And this is the reason why I don't like to use concealer to do above my eyes. I usually use my foundation because I don't, I don't like that halo look. So when I use the foundation, this halo doesn't show up. But you can always blend that out. Some people wear it. I personally don't like it, but Just blend it out. Okay, now once that's all done and blended out to your desire look, then you could go ahead and do your highlights. Your highlight should be a shade lighter than your foundation or two shades lighter depending on how bright your you want your face to look. 
And this is the one that I'm using. I don't know if you can see that. I love CoverGirl product. I don't know why. I just love it. It works for me. You just highlight under your eyes. This just pretty much takes out any dark circles and stuff like that from under your eyes. I'm looking like an Indian now. For this, I use a beauty blender, and I'm just gonna spray it. It's just water. I like to use it. Sorry guys, my phone died on me. So as I was saying, to do my, uh, my highlight, I'm using a beauty blender, and I just spray it with water. It blends out the product better. And you just tap. Tap it into your skin. Just tap. It just sets your highlight. Tap it in. Don't rub, just press the product into your skin. This is just a translucent powder.
I've, I'm just trying to get rid of any harsh lines that might have left behind. This is just foundation. Now, I'm going to contour my face. And this is just stick foundation, but it's a shade darker or two shades darker than your regular foundation. Just use a flat brush for this one. Well, I use a flat brush just to apply the product. You could use contour powder for this, but I just find it's easier to use. You could use loose powder if you want. I just find it's easier for me to do this. Like, as I said, everybody's method is different. This is how I do my stuff. You'll probably find other people out there that you'll find a different method from and then you just use a regular foundation brush and blend that in you're just gonna bring out your cheekbone a little bit right i don't use a lot because i already have high cheekbones and you go around the edges just to blend in the foundation and your highlight just to tone it down a bit give your face a little shadow they will call it low lighting it just gives your face a little definition that's all well to me Just put on a little mascara just to get rid of whatever product you have fall onto your lashes. So I bought these magnetic lashes on Amazon and they are to die for. So I'm going to use those tonight. It comes with uh, the little eyeliner thingy and this is what holds the lashes on 
So you just go right above your lash line. Just apply the product right above your lash line. I need to order some more. This is finished. Try not to get it on your lashes because when you go to put the eyelash on, it will stick to the lashes. I swear to God, the person that invented these magnetic lashes, I could kiss them. They come in these little packages. You just take them off and stick them on your damn life. Hmm? See? It already has the little lash thingy on them. So you just take them out the package, stick them on your eye. I'm just going to use the same pencil I used to fill up my eyebrows. I'm just going to use it along my waterline. Now, I'm going to go in with that same purple just to give my eyes some definition. And I'm going to go in with a small flat brush just to put that on. And you're going to go right below your waterline.
just to give your eyes some color. Put some mascara on your bottom lashes to bring them out a bit. This mascara is from Maybelline. And let me tell you, if you don't have lashes, buy this. This will make your little tiny ass lashes pop the hell out. I bought this in Walmart and I think it was like six bucks. See? see what I mean? See how it makes my lashes pop? And before I put that on, it's like I had no lashes, right? Yeah. This is the bomb. Six bucks in Walmart. Now, I am going to highlight just my cheekbones. I love highlighting. I love when my shit's popping. So I go through a lot of highlight. It's just something I like. And the same highlight
I'm gonna try something different. And I'm gonna use some of this liquid eyeliner. Just to highlight my eyes a little bit more. Just to put a little sparkle in that eyeshadow that I put on. Just a little sparkle in the eyeshadow. Just to make it pop a little bit more. Don't use a lot to cover up the eyeshadow. You just want to make it pop a little bit. Just give it a little bit of shimmer. And that's pretty much it. My light is horrible. Let's try something else to see if there. My light was so bright. It was like making my face look extremely white when it's not. So I'm going to tone my light down so you can see the color. The color in my face. I don't know if that works for you guys. Let's see. I think maybe that lighting is better. Now, I'm going to do my lips. I'm gonna go bold. I'm gonna go purple lips.
just highlighted my face a bit. Now I'm going to set my face. Let's see if you guys can see that. That's what I'm using to set my face. And that's it. simple all done thanks a lot guys for watching let me know what you think about this tutorial comment and let me know if you've learned anything and if you like this video and I'll do other colors I'll do another makeup video so this is the finished look very simple I like it. I like the colors. I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think.